What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Christmas Day Dungeon Defenders 2. Merry Christmas to everyone out there and for today's little run we are going to take some Christmas trees into the catacombs. Uh, of course the hypnotic skin, the hypno skin is the best I could do. Uh, it would be nice if we had some lights going on the trees but that is as close as we're going to get. Now this is a build that Aramir showed me. It's very fun. I've tested it up to four players. Uh, it is four player viable and um, just good times. We're going to be taking advantage of the DPS tree, of course. So we're going with anti chaos, anti melee and melee boom. This is a variation of a tree that would be taking damage. This tree will take no damage. So we want to focus just on its crit damage and its uh, anti mods and boom servo works as well. Of course, this is all working with thick vines. So we're going with um, melee boom, anti melee, anti chaos. We got deadly strikes, defense crit strike, and thick vines in there. And let's go ahead and build it out. We are on chaos 10, unholy catacombs, and uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, first things first, um, I think we want to go four trees on each of these inner corners. So something something like this maybe and then we'll go four trees right here as well I'm trying to get these as close together that way i can get away with only using one pylon uh we do want to focus on that crit damage of course so we are going to fully buff and boost uh so we're going to throw down a boost aura we're going to throw down a range pylon i'm going to put that on just a frost strikes aura um it's a little questionable whether it's going to hit all those trees, but I think it'll be enough to get the job done. And then we're going to slap a buff beam on all of it just to get as much crit damage as we can on these guys. So let's go ahead and go something like that. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. We want to do it on the out or, or on those inner corners so that each sets of these, you know, each set of eight of these trees are going to be hitting two of the lanes so uh the outside lanes do uh end up being slightly weaker and the inside lane is the strongest but still wrecks still absolutely wrecks no doubt uh let's go ahead and go with uh the same setup there we'll go four and four we'll get our uh our boost and our buff in Maybe. Did it say like right there? Buff beam is down. Or about to be anyway. All right. And we are set. That is all we're going to do for damage on this entire map is we're just relying on thick vines and those trees and the damage there. However, we are going to want to throw some walls in the mix. So let's go ahead and grab our trusty werewolves uh, from Mr. Helsing here and uh, see if we can't get those all set up as well. I think we'll have a little bit of change left over. If I remember correctly, we should have 30 DU left over. Uh, and that, of course, will uh, allow us to throw down like a uh, anti-heal or... Yeah, I think an anti-heal would probably be the best play. So let's go ahead and get some uh, reflect beams and protect the doggos. And yeah, we got 30 left, so let's just go ahead and drop a anti-heal. I've got that on a water aura here with destructive pylon. Well, I've got I've got it set up to use it as a boost, but it's basically just there for the anti-heal. Um, you know, I could swap out, say range pylon, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna go with. I could swap out range pylon and throw a vicious on there to get a little bit more range out of these guys. But let's go ahead and let it fly and see how it holds up here. Um, we'll spend our 400. What we'll drop a couple of upgrades there, a couple there, a couple there, and a couple there, and then I think we'll be pretty good. Uh, let's see how it does. Now that melee boom, it actually reaches out into the lane really far, so we're gonna see booms going off like way down inside the lanes um we we see the explosions down there that's from that melee boom going off 
So, um, good stuff there. Of course, as we get more upgrades on those trees, they're going to hit even harder. Which is just going to be quite nice. And most things are dying uh, before it makes it anywhere near the doggos here. So, we will get some chieftain pushing up. And there will be a few, um, you know, a few packs of mobs that come up and push through. But for the most part, it is a full clear. Now, if you do it in a four-player group, there will be more of a build-up at the walls. However, the doggos are just, you know, more than sufficient to take down any any large packs without dying. So, uh, good, good stuff. Um, not affected by the frost orcs at all, since the trees actually have no defense rate. Uh, you see we've got a chieftain here. But, uh, yeah, chieftain down. And then, like I said, the more upgrades we get in, uh, the more killing power we're going to have, and the more of those booms we're going to have going off. So, definitely some fun with some DPS trees here in Chaos 10 Expeditions. We had about 50 left. Uh, the flyers made me a little nervous the first time I did this one, but the frost strikes uh, provide more than enough crowd control, and then the trees just end up burning them out. They end up uh, doing great work against the Flyers. And no real issues there at all. So I think for this first wave, I want to go ahead and get uh, the trees all upgraded just kind of evenly throughout. Um, I could jack some up right away, uh, get them maxed out, and that's going to give something with maximum damage out there. However, I think we are just going to uh, going to do even upgrades. Am I missing some trees here? Or no, they're just little. It's little tiny trees. I didn't see them. I was going to say all the DU is spent. Let's see. We'll hit that guy. That guy. It's easier to go through the top than it is to try to make it through this mess here. And then we got uh, a couple over here. And then we actually have 600 left. So let's just throw... Two more upgrades um, there. Where do we want them? I guess let's throw them on this far outside over here as well for a couple more upgrades. The outside is theoretically weaker than the inside lanes. So let's just toss those in there and then let it fly again here and uh, get a little bit more juice flowing. Now, uh, since this is a turtle build, it will take a little while to run. So let's go ahead and just skip on forward to wave number five. And we'll see how this map gets closed out. All right, so here we go into wave number five. Now, I did swap around the boost aura and the frost strikes aura. So I put the range pylon closer to the inside. Uh, that way it's hitting the trees a little bit better and gave me a little bit more range out here into the spawn. I was missing several of the trees with the range pylon with it outside. And then I just kind of spammed upgrades around. Um, once you get a few upgrades in, it's pretty much GG. So just spam them around and call it good. And uh, wave number five should just be a shredder. Now, uh, if we get any siege rollers or dragon lords, uh, dragon lords, of course, want we'll to remove the bubble. And shield uh, siege rollers, if there's a large amount of enemies uh, behind the siege roller, that set off the melee booms, then the siege roller will get wrecked. However, if the siege roller doesn't have anything behind it, then we'll have to kill the siege rollers manually. Uh, however, the map is pretty much just running. Uh, everything is dying now. Um, you see even Chieftain, that Chieftain died way down there. Holy crap, yeah. Multiple Chieftains dying long before even making it to final stretch. Uh, making me wonder, oh, here's one. This one made it. I was going to say, making me wonder, do you need, even need the werewolves uh, past wave one? But definitely so. Still some enemies making it. Okay, we got a Cyclone Shaper. Uh, the Cyclone Shaper should just get owned. And then we got a Siege Roller over there. The Siege Roller doesn't have a whole lot behind it. There's a couple of enemies, but not a whole lot. Actually, there's more coming out this other side. Let's see what happens with the Siege Roller here. Cyclone Shaper is just about down. All right, yeah, that Siege Roller is just not taking hardly any of those booms. So let's just go ahead and melt it up real quick. And uh, we should have a pretty smooth experience for the rest of it. Uh, you see 50 million health on the Chieftains uh, single player. 
and still just getting burned through. What do we got? 11 million on those guys. Looks like 20 million on the Zerks. Uh, 17 million or almost 17 million on that one. And then just over 9 million on the Freezy Gobus. But um, yeah, super solid build. Uh, trees are definitely not uh, something you're going to want to use in every situation for DPS. But we do have that shard giving them a little damage output. So it's definitely the fun to play around with new toys. Uh, one baddie left, and it is a done deal. And look at that, I got a daily mission completed as well. Little side bonus. So anyway, uh, Merry Christmas to everyone out there. That is going to do it for this time around. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take it easy. Thank you.